In this video, we discuss asking for help, why the best leaders do this, and how you can ask for help of your own. Thank you for subscribing to the channel, Leadership with Mike. I'm the guy, Mike. Anyway, uh, asking for help. You're a leader or a manager now. Doesn't that mean you're supposed to know everything? Nope, nada. So many people feel that once they get in the management role, they must somehow know all the answers. The thing is, that's not possible. You can know a lot. You can know just enough. But the chances are that you do not know everything. But here's a cool thing. You don't need to know everything. And the more confidently you can admit this and ask for help, the faster you'll grow and the stronger your relationships will be. All right, so let's get into this. But before we do, allow me to ask you for some help. I'd love if you could like and subscribe and maybe even throw a comment on this video. Doing any of these, or all of them, will help YouTube see that there's some value here that others may want to see. Then that helps me know that I'm providing enough value for you to keep up with these videos. See, asking for help's not that hard. Okay, why ask for help? The first thing asking for help does is it shows that you have strong character. Now, the funny thing is that usually we or people feel like asking for any kind of help puts us in a position of weakness. But in actuality, it puts us in a position of power. This is because people recognize that to ask for help takes a level of confidence only someone with a strong sense of self will be able to do. Secondly, asking for help gives you better perspective. To sound cliche, two heads are better than one. You know what you know, and that's great. But at times, this can be a limitation. By asking for help, you are opening yourself up to a situation for outside counsel which will more than likely widen your perspective and you will be able to see or know much more by tapping into the resources, i.e. your staff. Now third, it fosters mutual respect. <laughs> it's funny sometimes, you can come to your new job with a fancy title which includes manager and people can tend to get nervous or jealous and think things of you that are so far from the truth. Sometimes to break down this superficial wall between you and an employee, easiest thing to do is asking for help. Doing so can help you open situations for dialogue where you can learn things about each other and from each other. Now, here comes the big elephant in the room. How do you ask for help? All right, first, don't ramble on about how much you do know and how you could probably figure things out. No one wants to help you after that. If this is how you ask for help, you're not gonna get anything. Be specific. Now is not the time to be vague or to beat around the bush. If there are specific things that you need, ask for them specifically. Should see, seem simple enough, you would think, but if it was that easy, would I be talking about it right now? Yeah, thought not. All right, coffee break. You guys like coffee? I love coffee. Now, here's the thing. I don't, I don't wanna sound like a beggar. I'm working on funding this channel so that is my full-time gig. And the one way I'll do that is by allowing you, any and all viewers, to buy me a coffee. Now this is only if you found value from this video or any video I've shared for that matter. If you did, and you've got some change kicking around in your pocket, then I'm gonna leave a link in the description for you. Okay, back, back to the business. Now, you're gonna wanna summarize what you know and what you've tried. Now this isn't where you ramble about how great you are, or this or that. It's to give clarity and to save time for the people you're asking for help. This also shows that you aren't just pawning off your work on someone and it shows that you've, the efforts that you've already put in. Also, you're gonna to wanna to ask at the right time. Make sure you're not asking for help five minutes before the report is due or something like that. Make sure the time is right. You're calm. There is time to be clear with those with what your needs are and there's actually time for someone to get involved. Then you're gonna to want to give them everything. Anything you can think of that you have, which will help hand it over. Data, budget, software, whatever you can do. Okay, remember, always go right. You don't have to always be right, but you do have to always do right. All right, that's it. I'll see you in the next video. That was kind of quick. Work on that song.